Good evening, Joe McCormick is off tonight. The Commonwealth is getting ready to retake the lead at the former Erie Coke property. The demolition and site cleanup have been handled by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency since September of 2020. And we're now learning what will happen when the feds are done there. It's the next step in finding out what lies beneath the remains of Erie Coke. The State Department of Environmental Protection announcing it'll begin an investigation as part of the hazardous sites cleanup program. We feel this investigation is necessary just to identify the nature and extent of hazardous substances in the soil, sediment and water on the property in anticipation of its cleanup and eventual reuse. The EPA's demolition and cleanup work above ground is expected to be finished this summer. Then it's the DEP's turn, a contractor beginning the testing and sampling below ground. For the group Hold Erie Coke Accountable, this is good news. And we're talking about danger to um, both public health and the environment, so it definitely has to stay on the radar. It's very satisfying to, to see that the EPs uh, resolve to, to be involved in that testing and, and, and then taking whatever steps are necessary to, to manage the cleanup. Although pleased to see the DEP take this next step, hold Erie Coke accountable, would like to see more long-term site work, especially groundwater testing, than they've been led to believe will happen. They want three to five rounds of sampling. The DEP says there will be two. As for a cleanup timetable, that'll be determined by what's found beneath the surface. The DEP itself does not determine um, who will be taking over the site, but we will be working with whoever that may be and letting them know about the liabilities that come with the site and helping them move past the cleanup. And Decker says the DEP's Erie Coke website is being redeveloped to allow the public to better track the cleanup effort.